In this video, I'm going to show you a basic GCSE style uh, exam question on probability trees. Um, it may be a while since you've looked at probability trees, so it's useful to just go back to the basics just to see kind of how they're drawn and how to find the probabilities that we need. So Hannah is going to play one tennis match and one badminton match. Uh, the probability that she will win the tennis match is 5 elevenths. The probability that she will win the badminton match is 3 fifths. Find the probability that she will wins just one match. So it can either be a tennis match or a badminton match, but she, uh, match rather, but she can't win both or neither. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a tree diagram to represent this information. So the first probability that we're given was the tennis match. So let's put tennis there and we're going to put badminton here. So Hannah can either win or lose the tennis match. And she can either win or lose the badminton match. So if she wins the tennis match, she can either win or lose the badminton match. And if she loses the tennis match, she can either win or lose the badminton match. Okay? So, if the probability that she wins the tennis match is 5 elevenths, so we can put 5 elevenths on this branch here. And if she loses, then, because these probabilities need to add up to 1, this would have to be 6 elevenths. Now, for badminton, we've got 3 fifths if she wins. OK, and so this will have to be two fifths because these need to add up to one. And in a similar way, we have three fifths and two fifths here. Now, this is a situation where we're clearly showing that uh, winning uh, the tennis or losing the tennis match uh, is not affecting her performance in the badminton match. So you might think that if someone has won the tennis match, then that might then affect how they perform in the badminton match, but this question doesn't take account of that. So then what do we have? We want to find the probability that she wins just one match. So she can either win the tennis match and then lose the badminton match, or she can lose the tennis match and win the badminton. So in order to work out those probabilities, we multiply along the branches. So we have 5 elevenths times 2 fifths, and that will get us 10 over 55. 5 elevenths times 2 fifths. So you multiply along the branches. Or she could have lost the tennis match and won the, band the badminton ba uh, match. So we've got 6 elevenths times 3 fifths. So 6 times 3, that's 18, over 55. So once you've got your scores there, it's either this root, win, then lose, or lose, then win. And so we must add these two probabilities together. And so the final probability of uh, winning just one match will be uh, 28 over 55. And that will be my answer. OK, so this is a basic example of how tree diagrams work um, and how you can multiply along the branches and add the scores at the end in order to find the final probability.